Welcome to the NASDAQ Market Site. I'm Jane King. With me, the co-founders of XYO. So I'm so curious to hear about this. So we've got Marcus Levin and also Scott Shepper. So great yep. to have you guys here from Southern California. It is great to be here. Yeah, great. So tell me, what is XYO? What are you guys all about? So I'll break it down for you uh, in the consumer-friendly way. So uh, for about the last year and a half, we've created this people-powered movement to create your own location network instead of just relying upon the current location network out there, which is GPS, which is 24 satellites orbiting the Earth, all controlled by the U.S. government, uh, the U.S. Air Force. So we're essentially decentralizing the location infrastructure. Okay. Yeah. So if I want to use XYO to pay somebody, but I don't have an address mm -hmm. to their like account or whatever, I can use data, like lo like location data, and send it that way? Yes. You that is a simple understanding, right? Yeah, okay. you can, it's like a location-reliant transaction, right? Okay. So location-reliant transaction meaning as soon as, uh, you know, this box, this Amazon box, let's say, with uh, one of our Bluetooth XY beacons in it arrives at this address, which you can define, right, this latitude, longitude, altitude, mm -hmm. you know, by this time, then I want you to send payment, right, from this wallet address to the other person's wallet address. It happens automatically once that device arrives in the world at that Let's specific see. location without anyone, with a location-reliant transaction. Would <laughs> this be a replacement of, like, a credit card payment that I would make online to an Amazon or something like that? Yeah, you okay. could do that. You could set up your account that it automatically pays. But it's more about having the, the certainty that something really arrived at a certain location. The problem with uh, GPS, for example, is, is that it's easily spoofed to hack. So you, you can download a GPS spoofing app, and in two minutes you can pretend that you're in Tokyo while we're actually here in New York City. Ah, so somebody could hack into GPS data exactly. and get something yes. diverted to yeah. them. 14 year olds okay. do it all the time, probably younger than 14 year olds. <laughs> probably, it's on right? Yeah. YouTube. There's YouTube tutorials. Uh -huh. People of like, you know, 10, 11 year olds teaching their friends how to spoof GPS on their phones hmm. so that they can like go anywhere in the world on Pokemon Go and collect, you know, like all of the Pokemon, huh. right? Hmm. So there's a necessary uh, need for another layer of location verification on top of that. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So is this a growing problem or will be as people get more yeah. competent in terms of hacking? Much, much more so as. Yeah. Uh, we attach more value to location. So if you, if you think about the world of tomorrow with automated supply chains and payment upon delivery, smart cities, self-driving cars, drones, everything is run by AIs. Okay. You have way more value attached to that location. As you have more value to location, people are incentivized to spoof or hack it. Mm -hmm. Today, truckers like, lie about the brakes by downloading GPS spoofing apps. So the people who put out the electric scooters, they, they put spoofing apps on their phones to put all the scooters in one place. It's because there's value attached I had no idea that this GPS spoofing was such a big thing. Oh, yeah. Huge problem. Okay. Yeah. And I'm sure growing because younger people yes. know how oh, yeah, to do exactly. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's go back a little bit. How long have you been in business? Like, how did you start the company? Like, give me a little history about XYO. Yeah, sure. So really, this, the story starts, actually, just like, you know, every overnight success story. Mm. Ours has really... Ours has taken 10 years, yeah. just like every single other overnight success story, <laughs> right? And really, ours started in 2008 in, uh, as I'm sure you're aware of, you know, with like in New York and the NASDAQ, in like the absolute worst time for the financial okay. industry, so, yeah, right? Absolutely, right. About a year and a half ago, uh, we went from a company uh, with about seven employees to, to today we have uh, about 80 employees hmm. and based out of downtown San Diego mm -hmm. and uh, in a market where cryptocurrency has, you know, gone down and declined, you know, in the past year and a half, yeah. like 90%, yeah. we have done the exact opposite. So, um, so you make a device. Okay, so explain to me the process. You make the device in San Diego and yep. then what? So uh, the, de the device is made and uh, then it's stored in our warehouse and then we get... How big is the device? Um, it's about the size of a, it's a little bit bigger than a quarter. It's okay. a little bit, it's the size of a quarter. And that would go uh, on a package. Thicker. Um, yeah, and okay. it, it can be placed in a package, it can be placed anywhere. And okay. your phone or any device that can pick up Bluetooth will pick it up within 300 feet. Okay. Right? And so what it is, is it's not relying, it's, it's this, this whole concept of um, a location network built on proximity, like two devices viewing and saying, hey, 
I saw you, you saw me. We're going to cryptographically verify that we saw each other, okay. which is a very, very different model and concept mm -hmm. than GPS in our current infrastructure. Use cases are, are just very broad. Imagine you have real certainty that something or someone is, is really at a certain location, right? What that means to bank transactions or asset tracking or, or supply chains. There's two quick start, easy ways for people to get involved. Okay, and, and they can do this now, like it's they open. They can do like, this now. I could go on and yep. become a part of XYL. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the first thing to do, I would recommend they go into the iOS, Apple App Store, or Android, Google Play Store, yep. and search coin. It's our app, our leading app, it's taking off. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, you just search five coin. out of five, you just search okay. coin. Where do you see this technology going in the future? Yeah, and, and I think in, in the future, we're gonna own the world because in the end, it, it's software-based, so it allows us to update existing IoT infrastructure like your smart fridge or the smart parking meter down the road, your cell phone, it can be an SDK in mobile apps. So we're going to be on billions and billions of, of devices. All right, thank you so much, Marcus and Scott, for joining us, and best of luck. Fascinating what yes. you're doing. So, And thank you as well for joining us. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ.